can is opening up again for the public to decide who should run it? Well, we get half a vote this time. Um, only half the um, ECAN councillors will be elected, the rest will be appointed. Um, but for me it's a good step back to democracy. I hope that people look at the candidates, think about what they stand for and have their say. We have a woeful uh, turnout for local body elections, just around 40%. Um, that is abysmal, that more than half the population say we don't care who runs our local communities, who runs our city, who runs our region. They've got big jobs, ECAN. Um, I'm outraged that the government persisted with their misinformation about why the uh, ECAN councillors were sacked, then extended the length of time that we had commissioners, and now is only giving us half a vote back. But voting for half of them is better than nothing. Because local bodies don't normally get very good support at the ballot box. No, I, I think it's really sad that so many people don't understand how important community boards and councils, the mayor, district health boards and our regional council are. They make huge de decisions that impact on our life and our well-being. Um, we, we should listen to them, we should look at them and say what do you stand for, what are you going to do for our city or our region and then vote appropriately according to what you believe in. Do they promote themselves enough do you think? Well I think if you looked at what they might do, um, which is you know attending meetings hosted by residents associations, you'd notice that you'd get a really low turnout. So actually they haven't engaged the general public. Not many people will turn up to a meeting to hear a debate between different councillors and what, uh, you know, hear what they have to stand hear what they stand for and what they have to say. We have a mayoral competition in Christchurch. Um, there's a big mayoral competition in Selwyn. Uh, so perhaps people will take a bit more notice where there's no incumbent as in Selwyn and say, right, we're getting a new mayor, let's have a look at all the potential. I hope they do. It's a really important job. And then there's Auckland. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> Yeah, what could we say about Auckland? Um, I'm certainly backing Phil Goff to be the Mayor. I have never known such a hard-working and passionate man as Phil. He's just tireless in his work. He listens really well, he takes on board what people say, he works out what's best and then he goes back to people and says, here's where I've got to, and then if they agree, he gets on and does it. It's a great way of operating. So you're saying that that's a pretty good template for others? I think it is. I think, I think working out what the problem is and then listening to alternatives in the solution, not just saying, here's the problem, I've got the solution. Because I tell you what, the wealth of wisdom does not reside in Parliament. People in our communities, in our workplaces, in our schools, have got a lot of ideas about how problems can be solved and often a lot smarter than politicians are. So we should listen to them, we should learn from them and then we should act on their behalf. That's what we're elected to do.